What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so this is the situation we have right here for you folks. Today is the big day. We have an enhanced risk issued in Texas, including DFW and Waco. And we also rather unexpectedly have an enhanced risk issued for parts of Florida as well, including Orlando and Melbourne. Those areas right there, predominantly for a hail threat right here. But we're going to go ahead and show you all the risks we have. We now have upped it to a 10% hatch tornado risk. I was kind of anticipating something along those lines right here. Wind risk is up to 30% in Texas, 15% in Florida. That 30% though is hatched into some areas, which means we have a 30% uh, risk of 75 mile per hour winds happening with a 25 miles to a point. And for the hail risk, we have a 30% hail risk in Florida hatched... Uh, uh, hatched in Florida, but we also have a 30% hatched in Texas right here. And that means we are looking at 30% in both areas, a probability of two inch hail happening with or greater happening within 25 miles of a point. So we're going to go ahead and read the summary real quickly. A few tornadoes along with very large destructive hail and severe thunderstorm gusts are expected over parts of North Texas this afternoon and evening. Very large hail and damaging winds are also expected over parts of Central Florida. We're going to go ahead and read the North Texas vicinity right here. Yeah, the vicinity right here. The main concern at first is uh, maybe the large to giant hail with ideal conditions progged for generational uh, ge for generation of hailstones about three inches in diameter for any sustained supercell. You heard that right. We are looking at th at least three inches of hail possible with any supercell that sustains as early supercells move east southeast or to. Uh, uh, to south, uh, so, sorry, yeah, east southeastward to southeastward across the region into the greater low, uh, low level moisture and weak uh, sin along south of the effective warm front. Two processes co uh, sh uh, should occur in tandem. One, enlargement of low level ho uh, uh, hodographs during the late afternoon to early evening. Do two, uh, growth in, in convective coverage ultimately leading to a line of strong severe thunderstorms. The resulting squall line this evening may mainly be a damaging wind threat. While supercells still are present, especially along the warm front, where the low shear vorticity is, will be maximized, so will the potential be for tornadoes, some possibly capable of significant or EF2 plus damage. Uncertainties remain on the mesoscale specifics on the boundary position and mo uh, mode transition timing, but both giant hail and tornadoes are possible with the boundary with potential uh, potentially lying across some parts of the metroplex. So... That's the big situation we have right here. We're looking at if even if the tornado threat doesn't verify, we are still looking at an insane amount of hail. At least three plus inches. That is bigger than baseball sized right there. That is going to be breaking windows. That's going to be breaking your windshields like that could even if in some cases tear through your roofs. So. Everyone needs to be taking this very seriously, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go ahead and pull up the uh, HRRR or HER run right here. We're going to be having some severe thunderstorms starting to develop in the afternoon right here around twenty one, around 2 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And it, it, you can take a look at the DBZ on some of this right here. This is absolutely crazy. We're looking at pink on the simulations right here. Yeah, th this is... Once again, a massive uh, a massive hail threat with this right here. As you can see, like 69 dBZ. That's according to the her right here. I wouldn't be surprised if we... Cr yeah, 72. I wouldn't be surprised if we crack 70 in some of these thunderstorms right here. And these continue into Louisiana as well before eventually moving into, the, into Mississippi, breaking off or whatever with that. And we do have some uh, some soundings for you to show you guys. This, this sounding was taken in Texas. Cape of th over 3,000. SRH is at almost 250. The shear is at 17 at 1 kilometer and 35 at 3, 55 at 6. And the shear is also quite directional as well, so everyone needs to keep that in mind. Potential hazard type tornado. We're look it, I can understand why the SPC went up to 10% hatched because of the because of this right here. Pre that's predominantly why with these soundings. And as you can take a look, next one, we're looking at, th again, 3,000 Cape. And the shear is not ne nearly as impressive at one kilometer as it is down, as it is in six right there. It's still pretty directional. If something does uh, spawn a tornado there, it we're not entirely sure if it does. It's a little bit more 
difficult for me to uh, estimate if that's going to happen or not. Now, if we go ahead and go over here, yeah, once again, 14 knots at one kilometer, but 62 knots at six. Yeah, that's definitely going to enhance your supercell development right there, especially with the 3,000 cape in association with that. So definitely a very serious situation going into this. Last thing I want to go ahead and take a look at uh, take a look at for you guys is the supercell composite and the significant tornado parameter with this. Here's the supercell composite, and this is at 6 p.m. Uh, Central Time right here. Supercell composite is at 19, ladies and gentlemen. Like that's like you ca uh, you can't say anything else about it right there. The supercell composite at 19. Sig tor parameter. Already pretty impressive. We're at 6.6 .6 with this. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a significant tornado or two in Texas or even in Florida in, in this case. Although the threat in Florida is still extremely large hail for you guys down there. And we're going to go ahead and continue to monitor it. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out, helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. If you want to help us out with getting data for this outbreak, come join Storms United, the Discord server. The link is in the description down below. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.